Here we are at Lost Valley, near the end of the world. There's this mysterious structure here. It's solid, solid cement. And as to what's inside, it shall forever remain a mystery. But there's Gary, Kathy, and Shyla. After a long trek, we've taken a little break. This is the group. There's four of us, counting myself, that are going to endeavor to find the Lost Valley gold mine. And um, this is the, uh, the critical moment right now because we're just packing up stuff. So we'll keep you posted. Here, oops, lens cap, darn it. I'll get the hang. It's a little goat trail we're on here. It's treacherous, ice covered. To my right is a stream, deadly cold water. We try not to fall into it. This is a man-made dam for unknown reasons. Here you can see the spillway they constructed to keep the, the dam from eroding away. And here comes the intrepid hikers. Oh, Tremendous man-made structure. Primitive dam. But who built it and why? And how many people did it take to do it? Like a hundred? And that would take them a long time, this big of a dam, with only shovels. Deep in the forest. Uh, We're hacking our way along here. The going is extremely treacherous. The question is, how far can we go before we we'll probably have to turn back? And can we find our way back? Disappearing into the forest, a scarce 20 feet away, and they're gone. This is the thick forest that we're in. Almost impenetrable, and certainly very forestry. I'll keep you posted. We're deep, deep, deep into our trek now. You can hear the roaring water stream next to us. We pass some illicit black pipe probably for a major marijuana grow, which means that we ought to be careful. There could be dangerous characters lurking around. Here we see the mysterious black pipe that we're running, walking parallel to. Where it terminates as to what its nefarious purpose is, we may or may not find out. But we'll keep you posted. We seem to have found an ancient trail, still following the mysterious black polyethylene pipe or tubing. The head, you can see my fellow hikers, they disappear soon into the wilderness if I stop for even a single hour. That's Kathy, Gary, and Shyla in front of us there. Brave, brave people. At this point, we've we've decided it's better to turn around and freeze our ass off overnight here, because none of us are prepared with the proper equipment, like tents, sleeping bags, stoves, any of that kind of stuff. Those are all at home, not here. Nearing the end, exhausted, tired, and beat. We could only pray that we would make it back in time to watch a good movie. At this altitude the air is thin. Our breath comes in short, ragged gasps. We're somewhere very high. It's probably a few thousand feet at this altitude. Any higher, 
Oh, I need oxygen masks. We'll carry on. Over. Shyla getting a reference for time. <laughs> Angle of the sun striking this instrument. Uh, <laughs> you can determine the time. 3.45, we should get back. Oh, okay. 3.45, oh. accurate to the minutes, incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's the time on this? The mysterious building in the middle of nowhere. What's its purpose? What's inside it? And even more important, what's outside of it?